Is y'all seeing this shit, man? Start by first and foremost giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rakakwadash. All praises due to the Most High, the name of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to my teachers, which are the elder apostles of the Great Millstone, Ruel. Shabbat Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect tabernacle of David that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And, um, you know, I was hearing all the reports about this yesterday. But I never saw the actual footage. You know, you could hear Jake uh, on the other side, you know, panning the camera towards the collision that was happening where you had, you know, 100 plus cars, you know, pile up. And they said um, between six to eight people, you know, then died and, um, you know, dozens injured. And, uh, you know, this something right here, man, you know, that just goes to show you that the most eyes to be feared. Because we all know who calls and who's responsible for this, man. Let's get uh, Amos 3 and 6. Let's start off with that. And these people, you know, they, they go about in their daily life. And none of them really, you know, they don't have the most eye in the sun in their life, man. They just carry on about their day, you know, thinking about, you know, what daily activities and all the vanity that they, you know, are 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 involved with in their daily life, and um, you know, people don't consider that the Most High is man, that He is man. All right, this is uh, Amos three and six. It says, "Shall up and be blown in the city, and the people, and the people not be afraid? Should there be evil in a city, and the Lord have not done it?" Yeah, man. When even when there is evil, when there, you know, when bad shit happens, you know, in a city or a town or in the country, the Lord is responsible, man. As it is written, let's go to Isaiah 40, 45. And it wasn't no big coincidence. It wasn't, you know, no, this was the most high, man. And pretty much that was judgment. The most high is known by the judgment which he executes. All right. Isaiah 45 and 7 it says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things. And, uh, you know, you know, it's an unfortunate situation, man. That That's scary as hell. You know, when people didn't know, you know, well, well really, you know, because I'm, it has to be very cold, so it's creating that black ice on the road. And um, a lot of these tires ain't made, you know, for that. So, you know, you traveling 65, 70 miles per hour on the freeway and you try to, you know, um, press on the brakes. That fucking ice is, is, is too damn slippery. So you're not going to be able to immediately stop. And you're coming up fast and there's already cars right before you. That's already uh, piled up. That's not moving. So you're going to smack right dead into the pile up. All right. They tried to press on their brakes and, you know, it was too slippery. They couldn't stop. And that's how it all happened. Well, the Lord caused that, man. And that's why it's important to fear the Lord, man. Fear mm -hmm. Yahweh mm -hmm. Bashem Shai. He's greatly to be feared above all gods, as it is written. That's why we even... um. Saying our prayers, man, when we, when you say the, uh, the Lord's Prayer, you know, um, part of the prayer, it says to deliver us from evil. All right, how was I now with my young rye? Okay? Because the Lord is in control. All right? And, you know, more than likely, these people don't have any fear of the Most High. A lot of these people, you know, the average American citizen, they're all are proud. Okay? Okay? There's no telling, you know, where they where they're on their way to, what they about to get involved with, you know. And the Lord stopped everybody in their tracks, and that, that's another thing. 
you know, people have that proud mentality of thinking that they're going to do things and they don't consider, you know, the Heavenly Father. You know, we always say when we're about to do something or when we're about to make a travel, a journey somewhere, we say, Lord willing, man. All right, because let me let me get that in uh, James, because you, you never know, man. You never know when it's your day, when it's your time. That's why you got to be humble. You know, brothers, you know, say prayers even when you're about to leave the house, man. When you're about to be on your way somewhere, you know, say your prayers and then, you know, Lord willing, you make it to your destination. Uh, James 4. And um, I'll start at 13. And um, the point is in uh, 15, 16. It's, uh, James 4 and 13. It says, go to now ye that say tomorrow. It's like your today or tomorrow we will go into such a city. You know, you're going to travel, you know, whether by plane or on the road, you know, hop on the highway and you finna go and, you know, you know, do something that you been set out to do or you, you, you know, you're hoping you can do. All right. And it says and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. So, you, you know, hoping that you're going to be able to go and conduct some business somewhere. Some of these people on their way to, you know, get into mischief, wickedness, right? Or as you know not, what shall be on the morrow? For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appear for a little time and then vanisheth away. For that you ought to say, if the Lord will, okay, Yahweh Rathazah, we shall live and do this or do that. But now ye rejoicing and your your boastings all such rejoicing is evil all right <clears throat> so it's a, really it's about humility at the end of the day you have to acknowledge the most high man and his son you know you can send your prayers to them and and and, and hope you know that it be his will that you get whatever it is that you want to get done you know we say i don't want to write this out or yahweh write this out the Lord will be done. All right? And if it's not his will, then guess what? It's not going to happen. But these people, you know, because they're so far removed from the Most High, they, you know, they worship uh, the devil and Satan. They worship the beast. You know, they put their trust in his technology, you know, his vehicles. And, you know, the, the Most High is a wilderness to a lot of our people, man. The Lord even said that in Jeremiah, the second chapter, am I become a wilderness? You know? But, um, hey, you know, the Lord did what he did, man. And whoever perished being innocent, whoever, whatever though, whoever those souls were that passed on, you know, they wasn't innocent, man. Job 4 and 7, who, whoever perished being innocent or where were the righteous cut off. All right. Ultimately, judgment, you know, came to pass. Let me get uh, Zephaniah 3. And five. And it says the Lord it says the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He fell of not. But the unjust know of no shame. Alright, and um if you don't believe that, you know, the most I would do such a thing, then the scriptures say evil men understand not judgment. All right, we understand judgment. That's why we fear the Most High. Therefore, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. That was, that was a terrible sight right there, man. To see all them cars just piling up like that, just smacking dead into each other. You know, a lot of injuries. You know, some deaths. That, that's that's a terrible sight, man. All right. Let me get a, uh, let me see, I think it might be one in the Apocrypha. Because ultimately, you know, if, if you fear the most high, then the evil won't come to you. You know, I'm pretty sure if there was a brother that was on that side, the Lord would have made it to where, you know, brother would have made it out of that, you know, he would have escaped unharmed, man. You know? Let me get a uh, Sirach 33. 
Sirach 33 and 1, it says, There shall no evil happen unto him that feareth the Lord, but in temptation, even again, he will deliver him. You know, like I said, you know, if it was a brother, you know, and, and more than likely the brother, you know, because we, you know, we stay prayed up, man. We, we, we say our prayers up. You know, probably would have saw that, you know, head on, you know, and uh, he probably would have. You know, the Lord would have had an angel probably stop the car before even reaching that far, man. You know, but he let them 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 simpletons, you know, they passed on and they got <laughs> they got dealt with, man. You know, because hey, it says the prudent man foresee of the evil and hideth himself. But anyway, you know, that's what's going on, man. You know, that was uh, more judgment that went out. And there's going to be, you know, other instances, you know, like this, you know, worldwide, man. The Lord is not playing. All right? He's angry with the wicked every day. He's not pleased, you know, with, with people on earth. You know, so, you know, we at that time, man. Our judgment is going to go forth throughout the planet earth. And if you ain't right with the Heavenly Father, man, you, you, you know, you're not seeking him. Then, um, you know. You, you, you're going to learn to fear, man. That's all I can say. You're going to learn to fear. All right, it says, uh, great, uh, uh, great miseries shall be done to them in the latter days that walked in great pride. Uh, 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 let me just go to it. I always try to quote something. I always end up getting it wrong. So it's better just to go to the scripture. Uh, Second Ezra 8. And 50, it says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. You know, and that's a lot of these people, man. Especially here in Babylon. Here in America, it's just pride. You know, pride through the roof. Pride through the freaking firmament, man. You know? And we're in the midst of uh, judgment, man. This devil. They clamp things down even more. It's about to be more deaf. You know, this devil is uh, signing more and more draconian, totalitarian uh, laws and legislations and bills. And people still proud as hell, man. And they, you know, just walking about in their day with hella pride on them. The Lord said he hates a proud look. You know, pride goes before destruction. And the scriptures say, you know, uh, a wise man will fear in everything, you know, he, he fear of all way. You know, we we're cautious, you know, when we out and about, man, because we, we fear the most high, man. But it's the scriptures say to seek out, you know, uh, your salvation with fear and with trembling. Because there's no telling, you know, what can happen at any moment in time. You know. So. I mean, I could just, you know, keep going. But really, you know, the point is already made. But, uh, you know, this was a, a crazy sight to see here, man. Fear the most high, man. Fear Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That's all we can say, man. That's the best advice we can give, man. All right. Anyway, with that, I'm going to close out. I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles. Of great millstone, peace and salutation to the elect. Shabbat shalom.